So Trey, what do you look for inside of a network marketing company? How do you pick the right company for you? Trey, I heard there's a new MLM company coming out that's ground for opportunity. Should I join it? All right, let's skip past all the hype, all the clickbait, and let's talk about what to look for in network marketing companies in 2020. Let's get started. All right, my friends, so if this video adds value to you, let's start off with a thumbs up. And if you prefer the no BS approach, then to consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as I put out a new video every single week to help network marketers just like you crush it inside their business. And hey, if you stick around to the very end of this video, I have a nice little treat that I'd like to give you. So let's get into this. There are a shit ton of network marketing companies that are emerging in 2020 because, well, people are seeking opportunity, flexibility, and a nice little safety net to fall back on in case anything were to happen. And so one of the common questions right now is what's the best MLM company to join? So here are a few things that you're going to need to look out for when it comes to picking the right network marketing company for you. Number one, let's chat compensation plan. First First off, I'm no comp plan expert, but let's be clear. There's no such thing as best comp plan ever, just the f***ing idiots who say that. So let's make sure that you steer clear of network marketers who are telling you, Psst, come here, I have one spot left in my downline. Grab it before it's gone. Psst. I'll even put you on my power leg. Look, I'm a big recruiter. I'll even build one of your legs for you. My friend, this is called hype, and it works really well on the week. Good luck building a downline on that. The best compensation plan for network marketing is simply the one that pays you. So look at how you're getting paid. Is it lopsided, meaning you only get paid in network marketing for recruiting, but you're barely getting anything for bringing on customers? Rather, look at a compensation plan that pays out equally for both. Because here's a fun fact for you. 80% of your downline doesn't feel confident confident and comfortable going out there and recruiting, recruiting, and recruiting. But they love the shit out of recommending products to people. And speaking of hype, let's talk about number two, company longevity. Look, there are new network marketing companies popping up every year. When you're looking to pick an MLM company that fits you, do some research on how long it's been around. In my personal opinion, I will never do round four opportunity ever again. I've done it. I've heard the 90% of companies never really make it past their first five years. And I was the one that kept saying, no, 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 this is different. And then it went under. But hey, maybe you love the risk and you want a chance at being a founding member. Well, have at it. For me, if I'm going to build long-term residual income, I want that to last for a long time. So consider looking at a company that is stable and has gone through the first phase of growth and momentum. Now, the last tip that I'm going to give you for looking for network marketing companies to join might surprise you. Number three has everything to do with community, culture, training, and leadership. Sure, your product can be amazing and your compensation plan can be out of this world, but nothing touches community, culture, training, and leadership. So does the community feel appreciated regardless of being a heavy recruiter or being on the leaderboard? Does the culture breed fun? Because the truth is, network marketing is optional. Your downline doesn't need to be there. They can pack up their bags and call it quits any day now. But having a shitload of fun will keep them around a lot longer because they feel appreciated regardless of being a heavy recruiter or a massive producer. And now training and leadership? Ask yourself, is there a training in place that's already proven to work? This is incredibly important for not just you, but for the people that you onboard as well. And lastly, look at the leaders that are inside the company. Quick reminder, rank does not equal leadership. There are plenty of leaders out there who are at the top rank, but they're absolute poison, which is very unfortunate for them, you, and your potential downline, because I've seen people who love the product, they love the company, but their upline is a mother and has no idea how to build culture inside their team page. On the other hand, your success also doesn't depend on your upline. At the end of the day, it's the person in the mirror who is responsible for the success, because there's a big difference between I'm here to help you build your business and I'm here to help you build your business. So there you go, my friend. I wish you nothing but the best of success. And I hope this video helped you find what to look for in new network marketing companies to join in 2020. And as promised, I want to give you that special treat that's going to help you dominate in your network marketing business. Go to the description section below this video and you can register for a live web class that I run to help people just like you recruit rock stars in their downline without hounding their family and friends and even without having to send annoying, awkward prospecting messages to build rapport and a follow up. Just click the link below this video, register for that webinar, and hey, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.